yo this is ace and today i'm gonna be showing you guys how to use bugs bunny in multiverse so i already made a previous video on this but today i'm gonna show you like an updated video on all the new stuff that i learned and you know stuff that you can actually use and you probably didn't know i'm gonna go over his combos his perks and also stuff that you should be doing with them so if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to drop a like and subscribe and let's start so I'm not going to be going over all of his moves as most people already know is how to use bugs and at least use, you know, some of his moves. I'm just going to be going over stuff you should be doing. Uh, first, let's go over his perks. This is what you should be running for his perks. If you want, you could change ice and use fire. I recommend ice. And also, if you want, you could change ice for um, this right here. Uh, basically, it reduces your um, cooldown durations. So you can either go all utilities for uh, bugs, just like this, or if you want, you could actually change uh, one of these right here, I dodge or one of this, the clock, and you could get um, ice with it. Either one works, uh, in my opinion. With these though, um, the only way you should be using this right here is for, so you only use lingering love like for 1v1s usually. I feel like it helps. Um, you could just put one down right here and then just down special uh, people that are edge guarding or when you're edge guarding That's like the only scenario I see people using it. Other than that I feel like that's the coming through dog is probably the best one um, It makes it so whenever you use this dig uh, it actually stuns people and like it, it basically gives itself own hitbox if that makes sense So just like that and it actually helps so you could get into your combos and stuff right after it so this is probably the only combo you need to learn for bugs um you could literally it's just like two moves all combined together um is you could literally do it infinitely forever um it is kind of hard mastering it though because uh it takes some time it took me like a day or two to actually get it down so what you do is actually start with this down um his hammer and then after you use this hammer what you want to do is jump right after you use it so something like this and then i just jump uh right after so this jump and hit r1 at the same time and you guys may be like oh it's not gonna work in an actual game and stuff like that uh this is an example of what it looks like in an actual game jake like you're perfectly like like you're fine i'm telling you this is literally the only thing you need to learn in this game bro so one other combo that i like to use for bugs is um basically i like to start it off by using a dodge and coming to him so it's something like this then i use this um side and then down, spin, and up right after it. So something like that. So in full motion, it'll look something like this. A couple other things that you might not know uh, that Bugs could actually do is with this rocket, if you want, you could use this down special on the rocket and it actually changes the trajectory of the rocket itself. I didn't know this for a while, um, but so it'll look something like this. It actually makes it so the rocket go up it is kind of useful uh it does uses two of your special abilities or two of your abilities so i don't know how often you should use it but just letting you know if you ever you know want to get a rocket off or get a cool kill if someone's in the air right here like let's say like right there and then uh your rocket is down here you could actually change the trajectory and make it go up so a couple other things that should let you know uh these three things right here um these comes from this box right here once you uh or the bag i guess yes uh, once you get it so, and this is probably the most important thing um this right here once you get it if you just throw it at the actual person it'll take so long for it to actually despawn that you could just keep on technically just throwing at them um i just threw it more like three four times and it didn't despawn a uh, despawn and basically you will get a lot of easy damage with them and just go get it back and just keep on using it a lot of people don't use it uh that often it is really useful in my opinion it's the best one that you could get from his um bag and also for his pie, um, what I tend to start doing recently is actually have his pie loaded already. And then when I'm in the corner right here, I just throw his pie just like that and um, make it go upwards as well. What that tends to do, if someone is edge guarding right here, it throws the pie and distract them. I could get a quick side shot at them right here. Or if someone else is coming from this side, it actually makes it so um, it goes in the air. So it actually hits them as well. So one other thing that I forgot to mention is his um, kick. You want to use this kick as much as possible. The range of the kick is literally ridiculous. Um, you can hold it down for almost as long as you want and you'll almost cover like the whole map or at least three fourths of the map. You want to use this kick as much as possible. That's how you start. You can't really use it to get into a combo, but you could uh, basically just repeatedly keep on doing this at least two or three times and get a lot of damage off on your opponents. When you start a combo with the hammer down, it's a really close range attack and a, you know, a, like someone like with the Harley or something could just come and use this bat and just attack you really easily. But when you use your kick, so when you use something like this, 
It's actually hard to counter it if you get it off uh, correctly and you have to get the timing correctly. Quickly, I just want to go over uh, all of his moves. So if you want, uh, his side specials are his rockets. And his, uh, uh, the rocket right here that just went up, it'll also come down in about 20 seconds or 15 seconds or so. Uh, so that's something useful. Every time you shoot rocket up, it'll always come back down. Um, something else, uh, so his dig right here, basically how you want to play his dig, um, you don't want to make it this small right here, what I tend to do is make his dig something like this, and just kick, and then go back, so that's how I basically play it, I kick, and I go back, or I do an up special right here, go back, even if, you, if they're there, I just come back right here, um, I always play the dig, literally as soon as I get it, I play it every single second, um, it's probably, in my opinion, is his best move or best ability. So lastly, I just want to go over his safes. Uh, some things that you might not know about his safe. So once you actually get a safe down, something like this, you can hit it. Uh, so with your hands, it'll go pretty slow. That's not what you want to do. Um, you want to most likely kick it just like this. So whenever the enemy is up right here, uh, they'll get hit by it. Or if you want, start off slow just like this. And that will basically what make the enemy do is jump because they don't want to obviously get hit by it. And then once they jump, you just kick it. So it'll actually hit them in the air right here. Or if you want, what you could also do, something i've been doing recently so if you get the timing down correctly you could actually make the safe go super fast um you could usually get like a, a knock with this or get some damage off pretty fast and they don't really see this coming i don't see a lot of people doing this so just make sure you get the timing down practice it and perfectly fine so just to summarize everything make sure you use bugs kick as much as possible as i'm doing right now that's probably one of his best abilities um and also use his dig as much as possible with the perk that i showed you with the signature perk and after every single time you hit him just go back to the hole just come back out the other way it confuses people a lot and it makes it so you can't really get hit a lot and lastly as i said make sure to learn this combo uh the infinite combo that i showed you it's probably his best combo that you could do and it works every single time so other than that make sure you guys drop a sub and like it's free you could literally change your mind at any time hope this video helped you guys out and if you guys have any questions let me know see you